Well, welcome everyone to Steve Savant's Money, the Name of the Game. I'm your host, Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator. On today's show, tax-free income from reverse mortgages, part four of our series on tax advantage retirement means more spendable income with Tom Doncaster, registered financial consultant and retirement specialist. Welcome to segment four, Tom. Thank you for having me, Steve. Well, listen, we, everybody says, Steve, uh, what's been going on this week? Our first three segments, we've been talking about how to make our retirement almost tax-free. And if mm -hmm. you're a young person, maybe all tax-free if mm -hmm. you get to it now. That's right. There's four or five things we've talked about. We talked about Roth IRAs. We've talked about HSA accounts. Now we're talking about using your home wealth for tax-free income. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that first. Sure. Let's think about this. Um, people, Most people that are homeowners... Hopefully, after 2008, we have some kind of equity in our home, right? <laughs> it didn't sure. look good back then for a little while. It was a little bleak. A little yes. bleak. Um, things have changed. Thank you for that. Uh, but now, reverse mortgages, we're taking, if I understand it, we're taking a loan Correct. from our home. Mm -hmm. They're going to figure out, Uncle Sam's going to figure out how long you're going to live. Mm -hmm. And you could get that money, and that money comes out, since it's a loan, tax-free for the rest of your life. That is correct. That money is never brought over to your Social Security as an income test whether your benefits get taxed. That is correct. So this is kind of good if you had Social Security mm -hmm. and your reverse mortgage. Maybe sure. you had an HSA account. Maybe you had Roth. Mm -hmm. All of that would come free. That is correct, yes. That's very, and to me, that's important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how does this work? Now, I, I, I was reading the, 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 um, the before the show. This is under HUD. Mm hmm Housing, urban development. development. It's FHA insured. That is correct. I like that. Mm -hmm. And the program itself is called Home Equity Conversion Mortgage Program. HECM, as they, they call it. Mm -hmm. Everybody always asks me, what the heck is HECM? Well, that's what it is. Yeah, it's almost like a hiccup, huh? That's right. Now, listen, most people have been kind of hip to this. We've been on the radio now and television on, on reverse mortgages now for about a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, Senator Frank Thompson and, uh, you know, the funds is the even funds, pushing yes. it, right? Mm -hmm. So... Have you seen this as a as a real help for retirees that are tight for money? Yes, I have. Um, in some cases, let's face it, that's generally one of the largest pieces of equity that we mm -hmm. have in our portfolio, uh, aside from our IRAs or 401ks or even a pension. Mm -hmm. And uh, in some cases uh, out there, folks either don't have a pension, but they do have a 401k and an IRA. This would be the third leg mm -hmm. that some of them consider using, especially when you're 62 years of age or over. Uh, and in many cases, you know, let's face it, Steve, uh, how many of our children want to wind up inheriting our house? Mm -hmm. you know? They usually sell it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they don't want to hassle with mm -hmm. it. And, and in some cases, you know, it's going to need some repairs, and they would prefer a much more up-to-date modern home. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, some of us don't do the modern upgrades as we probably mm -hmm. should. But either, either case, you know, that's... Um, that is definitely another option to at least bring up, put on the table, and let the client decide whether or not that makes good sense to do. I think in 50% of the time it does. It, yes. it does. In fact, yeah. actually, when you think about the three programs mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. seniors, you have, of course, Social Security, mm -hmm. America's retirement plan. Right. Then you have Medicare, right. your medical plan. That's right. And now you have this wealth home wealth uh, kind of program mm -hmm. under HECM, Home Equity Conversion Program, also for seniors. You've got to be 62. Correct. Got us to live in the house, got to mm -hmm. be your prime residence. Mm -hmm. And yeah, really, basically, I tell people, even though you could maybe get out, I would say you got to die in the home, it just if you want to make everything work perfect. Sure. Now, reverse mortgage, I'm thinking tax-free. There's not so many things tax-free. I mean, I'm thinking even municipal bonds, mm -hmm. which may be tax-free, could, could potentially trigger the AMT. That is correct. It so can. It so, will. Yeah. So people yeah. sometimes say, well, I'm doing the munis for that. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. And But municipal bond, tax-free municipal bond, even if you're not paying the AMT, still goes over to your Social Security. That is part and, of the calculation and, and that they're can, using. It can cause you taxation. Sure. Yep. But this, no. Nope. Okay, so if I take a loan out, it's guaranteed. Now, unlike other loans I've had on my equity, the normal equity loan makes me pay the interest every year. That is correct, yes. And, and uh, i got to settle up at the end of the 10th year. I may have to pay it off. That is correct. What yes. happens if my value drops below my equity? Because I might have to get a call on my note, and yeah. I might have to satisfy this. That's right. You might Not have this. To probably have to fall on your knees and pray that somebody, yeah. you know, Okay, so, so in my, on my reverse mortgage, I don't have no interest that I have to pay. Nope. I, have no, I don't have to settle the account. What, I can be receiving the reserve reverse mortgage even if the market value goes down. That is correct. Yeah, yes. See, to me, mm -hmm. this is a huge issue to explore. If you're a senior, 
And many seniors, remember, they say, Steve, my, my retirement's tight. Mm -hmm. It's tight. I'm living check to check. we got to watch what we spend. Mm -hmm. This could be the difference of having a, pro a poverty mindset mm -hmm. versus a little bit of headroom, a little bit of breathing room That's right. to enjoy. We want you to enjoy your retirement. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I, I've been looking at, and, and most of the stuff we talk about is income producing correct right yes. for a reverse mortgage mm -hmm. now the negative is i heard that the the, the the costs are kind of up there that's the that there's a little bit of expense here sure oh yeah you got to pay you yeah. okay yep. is it, does it do you think it's worth it once again got to run the numbers steve mm -hmm. you know i mean you got to look at everything at least two or three different ways to sunday mm -hmm. wind up looking at the pros and the cons you know as you and i have discussed mm -hmm. in the past there is no such thing as the perfect investment vehicle mm -hmm. perfect uh, insurance vehicle they all have pluses and minuses it all depends on mm -hmm. what is the client's objective. What do they want to accomplish? Well, I like the fact that I'm getting tax-free money and I don't have to pay it back. That's a I, big I, one. Now, of course, I there's agree. stipulations. You got to keep your house in order. That's true. You yep. can't just run it into the ground. Yeah, you know, you got to watch yourself. Can't be like one of those hoarders on TV you know, no. where you just you know, oh, trash it. You know. So, no. Well, if you got yeah. that much stuff, you probably don't need a reverse mortgage. That's true. You probably <laughs> can't qualify. <laughs> <laughs> probably can't qualify. Now, and there's another aspect I just want to bring up, just because it's so unknown, and it could be a play for some people. Mm -hmm. uh, I know many people start looking maybe for their final home. I have a 3,700 square foot home. Mm -hmm. I want to get down to about 2,000, maybe 2,400. Mm -hmm. I want—I don't want to be working on a big house. I want to have a small house. Single I'm level. Like, mm -hmm. I'm on a single sure. level. That's sure. right. And I mm -hmm. may not look at it. I don't want to be cutting the lawn. Uh, maybe I don't care about the pool anymore, mm -hmm. so I'm going to try to get down where it's it's a lot nicer. So I'm out looking for a home. Yep. Mm -hmm. I heard they have a program for this. Yes. Talk a little bit about hey, how does that how does that work? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yours have to be 62. That is correct. Right? Yes. But I've heard that the limitations for Heckam on a purchase of a home is all the way up to six hundred and thirty six thousand. I'm oh. looking at it right here, one hundred and fifty dollars. That's right. That was astonishing to me. I, th so, I didn't think it would be that high. It's like a jumbo loan, yes. It's mm -hmm. a jumbo loan, yeah. That's right. If you were sixty two, you may only have to put half the money down. I know yeah. it's a lot still, That's cash, correct. but you could own a six hundred and thirty six home for three hundred grand and you don't is it my understanding, you don't have a mortgage payment. That is correct. You have a mortgage. That's right. You just don't have a payment. That is correct, yes. Now, do you still have to pay your property tax? Yes, you do. How about the house insurance? Also. Okay, yes. so you still yep. got to do that. That's true. All right. So a normal person that's coming out maybe with a quarter of a million dollars and they're 62 might be able to get a home for five hundred and twenty-five, five hundred forty thousand. dollars Sure. They want to live in something that's really nice and exactly. posh, you know, and comfortable right. before they check out. Sure. Right. Yeah, why not? If you don't see the value of home equity, and a lot again, like you said, most beneficiaries, your children and grandchildren, you know, they're really not into your home. You know, mm -hmm. yep. uh, happy to visit you there, but uh, sure. you know, the equity position. This could be a play because you could now you have you could either take it income wise, mm -hmm. or you could also mm -hmm. buy a home. That's correct. Here's the other shocker: uh, you could actually get an equity line of credit. Let's say you don't care; I don't need the income. Yes, I am in the house of my dreams. Mm -hmm. I don't need that, mm -hmm. but. I might need money when I'm later in life for long-term care, assisted home living, visiting angels, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I may need that. Mm -hmm. This Heckam has an appreciating line of credit. Yes, it does. Yes. So, how, I mean, I, it, regular ones, they, you know, how does this work? Well, currently they increase, what, about 6% a year? Well, today, that's the today's yeah. rate, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. It, uh -huh. So, if you don't use it, it increases. That's right. 6%. So, that's right. So, so, it's, actually, I don't know if I could get 6% anywhere guaranteed. The government's guaranteeing it. Mm. My, so, it's I have tough. an appreciating yeah. mortgage, 6% every year. That's right. And so, when I'm looking at that, if I didn't use that for 10 years, my 200,000 mm -hmm. equity line might be worth 350 or 325. That is correct. I yes. mean, th that's mm -hmm. a huge, that's a nice backstop, a no. financial reserve. If I have to hit that account, do I have to pay it back? No. no. Yeah. So to me, these are the three strategies under the home equity conversion mortgage. Now, most of the time we're talking about the reverse mortgage. That's correct. Because people do need income. Mm -hmm. But I've just given you two more ideas. Mm -hmm. And again, we're talking, you know, there's no tax here. Mm -hmm. So we're just buying our home. Mm -hmm. That money we can save for maybe other issues that we need for. I, to me, I think this is a huge benefit for seniors. Mm -hmm. And it's a great tax play. And the last thing I want to talk, bring about this is remember, you have to look and see if you're suitable. Yes. You have to have full disclosure. And think about this. Every Heckam loan demands a 20 to 30 minute counseling session. That is correct. You have to go there and sit mm -hmm. down. and That's right. You know, so there's a lot, of, a lot of things. And you have to go to a certified individual to have that certified, loan done. That's right. Yeah. Not, not any mortgage person can do it. No. Not, you've got to make sure that they've got the right credentials, you know. 
Okay, Otherwise, got to be counsel. Oh, yeah. Got to have a certified HECM loan that's officer. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right, and mm -hmm. there's some stipulations. Stay mm -hmm. in the home, be 62. Mm -hmm. And I say you got to almost die in it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't forget to watch part five of our series on tax advantage retirement means more spendable income. We're talking about tax-free cash value life insurance. And keep in mind, before moving forward with any of the ideas on our show, always check with your tax consultant, legal counsel, or financial advisor. You've been watching Steve Savant's Money. The name is a good one.